Annie Badgers. <laughs> Sorry, cat. Uh, I got my windows open today and we got the birds singing. We got neighbors yelling at their kids. So uh, yeah, the cats are all up in the windows. So you see them running around. That's why they're kind of feeling the spring themselves. So uh, back in January, I think it was, I think it was January, January or February I ordered these because back in December, we had the holidays obviously, and I had my birthday. So um, I had a relative send me some um, birthday and Christmas money as my gift. I decided to try out Oraloa. This is one company that I'd been hearing about that's, they're, I guess they're kind of in there with the more um, luxury upscale companies as far as diamond paintings go. Um, I don't know if they've really taken off in popularity quite yet. I mean, I know people order from them, but I, I don't know that they're at diamond art club level popularity just yet. But um, looking through their catalog, I think they're going to end up being one of my favorite ones as far as themes that they actually put on canvas. They do a lot of the same things that uh, Diamond Art Club does as far as the, as far as I know, I think everything, I haven't, this is my first Orlo order, so I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure everything gets printed on those felted back canvases that the upscale companies like to use. What I'm going to do here, this all, this is one order I did. Um, this all came in a larger box. I don't think I have the box anymore because I, you know, <laughs> opened it when it first got here a couple months ago. I'm just now getting around to filming this. So, uh, there was a little <clears throat> gift pack of goodies that came, like little tchotchkes and stickers and stuff that came with like probably new order, uh, what do you call it, new customer orders that they put in. Uh, I'll insert a picture here. of what that looked like because that's all put away now because it was separate from these but I think what I'm going to do with this is um, I'm going to go ahead and break these two canvases up into two videos uh, this smaller one I believe is a Hannah Lynn I got does it show on the side of the box yeah uh, I got Hannah Lynn's Daffodil Springs I believe this one is currently sold out on their site this one I think is still available it's and it's discounted right now which is why I wanted to get these videos up if you're interested in this bigger one they may bring back this one I don't know what their deal is on bringing back canvases or okay took a quick little tour around the canvas myself just so I could get my bearings before I turn the camera back on so I got <laughs> the box uh holding this open for me but uh, let's see which end was it but I'll show you on the box uh, it does show you a picture so when you're storing these um, you can just put that out and you can see which one is in there so that's always a nice touch uh, you get the Oraloa logo there Island of Arts uh, on here it also says what's the other tag they use let your creativity sparkle. And you'll notice on Oraloa's stuff, they, um, they're they kind of shtick, I guess, is they like to have a, a island kind of Hawaiian theme because of the Oraloa name and all that. That's sort of their, their branding. But uh, you get uh, this instruction sheet with them uh, on how to diamond paint. Most of these kits come with that these days. Um, it just looks different depending on the company but if you look down here it actually says I saw it uh, did I put it on the French side no I set it down on the French side um, okay uh, yeah imagined and designed in Canada and France by our team and assembled in China for Oaloa uh, and I had wondered about that because when I first ordered from them and I started getting their emails <laughs> uh, the emails were coming in like 70 30 French English and all of the when they were trying to get me to buy other kits it kept coming in French currency and I was a little bit confused when I first saw that so I thought I would just mention that if that happens to you if you order from them and you start getting a lot of emails in French that's why they're um, I'm guessing if they're partly based in Canada and France I'm guessing the 
Canadian branch is probably French Canadian. I don't know that for sure, but I would guess. Anyway, just thought I would mention that if you're a little bit confused when you start ordering from them and wondering why all their staff keep sending you emails in French. That's why. Uh, so with this kit, you get the uh, sticker sheet. So you can uh, do all your peel off labels. You get a sticker you can cut out into your log book and you can probably cut out these other ones and use those for some other crafting if you wanted to. Uh, so yeah, it's a colorful, pretty little inventory sheet. They also have some blank ones here if uh, anything happens to the label six end or you need a blank one for some reason, those are on there. Uh, your somewhat elevated kit that comes with this is the uh, sparkle pen with the four placer and I think this is like a five placer if I remember right something like that a uh, little tin of three circles of wax a squishy for your pen sorter tray and then the nice straight tip uh, heavy duty sharp tweezers which um, these are nice quality so anytime I get a kit anywhere that has these in them I'm, I'm happy about that um because <laughs> these compared to like when you get the super cheap ones that have those crappy uh black plastic ones that do virtually nothing uh yeah these are nice to to build a collection of okay uh I was looking at the inventory and I saw down here you see that this thing has six a b's in it so I went ahead and opened the colors to see what what the ABs look like and these are all in pre-sorted bags so that's nice I know there are some diamond painters that are like I don't like working out of baggies but I'm not really bothered by it even when it comes in those little like I think I've heard some people call them like sugar packet bags uh, even when it comes in those little 200 count bags I'm not really bothered by that because usually I do this with the little ones anyway so your ABs in this one if you've uh, read any of my blog completion posts and you anytime I mention oil slick ABs anytime I've placed oil slick ABs this is what I'm talking about this is what I call it, oil slick ABs I don't know that that's the technical term for them but that's just what I started calling them I've heard other people use that term I'm not saying I coined it I'm just saying that's what my brain recognized it as because if you look at it it looks like an oil slick <laughs> so I'm sure I'm not the first person to think that I'm sure that's why other people use it uh, but yeah when you hear oil slick AB it's this. It's the multicolored um, black AB. And then the other ABs we have is a little bit of this pinkish red AB. You got some yellow ABs, which I'm guessing are going to be in the daffodils. Probably also the orange AB is probably going to be up in there. So yeah, yellow and orange ABs. It looks like there's a straggler in there of something. There's a tiny bit of white AB, which I'm guessing is probably going to go somewhere in the waterfall spray, I would imagine. Um, I'm a big fan of white AB, so <laughs> I might add some of my own if I, if I decide that's not quite enough. And then you get this really nice, almost like vintage blue, almost not quite Tiffany blue AB. Um, you get, everything comes in a wrapped bag, so you get the kit number and then the size. So this one's going to be a 73 by 54 and it's a little hard to spot on here, but the kit number is down here at the bottom of it. And then up here, you actually have the name Daffodil Springs by Hannah Lynn. So that's all the extras, I guess. I'll get into the colors in a second, but I thought I'd just give you big pan overview of what this one looks like. This one is currently out of stock as far as I know. I will link the link as if they still have it listed, I will link the listing page for this down below so you can check it if you want or you have the information if you want to see if somebody else brings it onto their site because I know Hannah Lynn's done stuff also with Diamond Art Club and now she's over at Oraloa. These are all um, licensed companies so if you just you know, make a note of Hannah Lynn Daffodil Springs or I don't know, <laughs> hit her up on one of her social medias and say, hey, can you bring this one back to somebody? I don't know. However you want to do it. If you really like this one, you have the information um, to find it at a later date if it comes up or, you know, always check your uh, B-Stash groups, like I say. So yeah, check your Facebook groups, your Ebays, all that. Ebays? Check your eBay. 
whatever country you're in. <laughs> anyway, okay, so doing a little overview. So yeah, you get the, uh, the little icon over there. You get the felted back, the surged edge, all that stuff. Um, there's 50 colors in here. The drill field looks pretty nice and clear. No issues there. Let's look at the darker ones. Yeah, I was a little bit concerned about those like cinnamon roll looking ones, but I think even those are going to be all right. I think those are the only ones I could see. Well, maybe these green ones. What do these green ones look like? The dark green ones? I don't know. Maybe when you... When you're up on them, you can see them fine, though. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't see any issue with any of the, the printing. I'm going to work with that. What's in her eye? Oh, more of those cinnamon roll ones in her eye. So, yeah. Some daffodils. Um... The one thing that concerns me about Hannah Lynn ones, which is why I don't get them a lot, um, other than she's another one where I know she's really popular, but a lot of her art is, is very busy to my eye. Um, this one was a little bit calmer. That's why it attracted me. Also, having grown up in a <laughs> beach town, um, I'm kind of a, a sucker for a good tropical print. But uh, this one was a little bit calmer for her style. But the thing that always concerns me a little bit when her designs get transferred to diamond painting designs is I'm always a little bit concerned about how red the face is going to come out. Um, when she's actually doing the art, when it's just the sketch, it makes sense because it looks like blush or whatever. But when it goes into diamond painting and you get the like pixels on it, it can come out very red like they're sunburned or they've been crying for three days or something. I don't know. So I'm a little bit concerned about that, but it might be all right. Uh, so yeah, that's Daffodil Springs. Very pretty. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing for the size of this, I'm probably going to be amping up the ABs a little bit. Um, but that, I mean, that's not, that's not a sad amount. That's six different AB colors. Um, I'm guessing... Huh, the amount they gave you of the oil slick ones, I'm guessing that's going to be all the shading, which, I don't know, if you got like that much oil slick AB shading, you might not actually need that much of the other ones. I don't know, I'll have to work it out and see. But yeah, I'm excited for this one. This one's going to be really pretty. I haven't, um, the, the thing with the, these kind of sizes, you never quite know how you're going to frame them because... I'm guessing this one's going to be pretty nice and you're going to want it on the wall, but I haven't figured that out yet. Um, cause it's probably going to be a minute before I get to this one. Um, I do have a number of larger kits. I just, I don't have a great space to roll them out and work them quite right now. That's sort of one of my goals to work out in the new place when I get to the new place, whenever that is. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, still, still trying to figure all that out. So let's get into what the colors look like here. Since these are all individually bagged, um, I can pull these out without having to stress too much about how to get them back in. Uh, so we have all the ABs over there. So these should just be standards over here. So you got, I guess and that's going to be in her skirt area. Got a bunch of blue because waterfall. So, let's see. Yeah, ton of blue. Shocker, I don't know. Some um, sort of like, I don't know if that's technically a goldenrod color. Kind of. Some browns, probably going to go in her hair. Some more yellows and oranges for the daffodils. More bright orange. I'm guessing that's probably going to go in the hummingbird somewhere. Some neutrals for her skin tone. Some browns for her hair, more oranges, a green I'm guessing is going to go in the foliage, some more greens. These pink ones are probably what's going to be worked into like this area here. 
Um, that's why I get a little bit concerned because a lot of times when they come with the diamond paintings, it's like, it's pink. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's... No, I thought that was going to be... What is that? I thought that was going to be a 310. Oh, you know what? This is probably that... Yeah, this is for her hair. I think this is that like super dark brown that can sometimes come off as black. Because um, I was like, I don't see 310 in there. Uh I like that green some more reds which I'm guessing is gonna go in her skirt again so yeah that's the very vivid color palette you're working with uh, so yeah that's what I have for this one I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out and get into the mammoth one that uh, that I have coming up next so stay tuned